Do you want to ride my pump cart? This is easily one of the funnest builds I've done in years, and once this thing was done, everybody was playing with it. Now when I first got the idea, I drew it up in SketchUp, and for anyone who's interested, I'll make those files available for free on my website. I cut most of it out on the CNC machine just to make it go a little faster. It could definitely be done by hand, but once the project was finished, everybody, and I do mean everybody, wanted to ride this thing. My kids were all over the neighborhood. Now because there's going to be a lot of torque and twisting going on with this thing, wherever there was a butt joint I used a lot of large fasteners to keep everything really well secured. And of course wherever there's an axle, I made sure to line everything up really well because I want to reduce the friction as much as possible to make this thing go easy. So after that was done I routed everything out and sanded it and cut out the parts that I didn't use with the CNC for with the skill saw and the table saw and then put it together to test it. Now initially it was really hard to do. It took my full body weight. So I added a second gear and extended the arm on the handle and that made it easy enough that even my kids could use it with no trouble at all. I would like to say this whole thing went off without a hitch, but I'd be lying. There was quite a bit of arguing over who got to go next. I may end up having to build another one. Perhaps I'll make that one drill powered. Who knows? I even had to give the family dog a ride. So after I had all the major components made, I blew everything off with my leaf blower, and I'm trying this new watercolor product called Pure Color. This stuff is awesome, and it's only been available for about the last four months. Prior to that, it was only available to factories. Now, if you've ever been to a furniture store and wondered how they got that really beautiful opaque color on furniture, you know, the end grain, the side grain, everything was the same, this stuff is how they do it. It is really an amazing product. I used it on both the carriage and the body of the boxcar. And 15 minutes later, I sanded the high points off and then used their water-based acrylic to spray over the top of this, which really made everything pop. Now, what's cool about this product is it comes in both wipe-on for consumers and spray-on for the pros. And if you'd like to check it out, there'll be links in the description box below. Now after we had it all done and the finish was on it, the kids and I took it all over the neighborhood and got looks everywhere we went. This is probably one of the coolest projects I have ever done. And the whole family is getting a lot of enjoyment out of it. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. If this is your first time here, I'd like to invite you to subscribe. If it's not your first time here, thank you so much for coming back. I'd also like to thank Bosch for sponsoring my show and making some pretty kick butt tools. And a special thank you to Pure Color Watercolors for making one hell of an amazing product. If you see anything in the video today that you'd like to check out, there'll be links in the description box below and we'll be talking to you soon.